I am obsessed with how you can use AI tools to make research more effective. And today I'm gonna to share with you the epic prompts that I have found that you can use to make it easy to analyze your data, look for gaps in the literature, as well as kind of synthesize your thoughts and ideas around certain topics and fields. Here we go, this is how we start. So to set up, first of all, what you need to do is get yourself the Edge browser, I know. I know it's not everyone's favorite thing, but it's got Bing automatically kind of included in the top here. So all you have to do is open up um, the Edge browser and then click on Bing at the top. And then what you've got is this chat uh, area. And this is where you can ask uh, the AI anything about anything that's in the window. The reason this is great is because in the past I've been copying and pasting text from uh, like papers into chat GPT and that just doesn't work when you've got a load of uh, information, text information. Sometimes you reach the limits as to how much text you can paste in here. Those limits are completely removed as far as I can tell. So um, we go in here and you can see here I've got different types of uh, papers. So here I've got a review article and then I've got one of my papers and then I've got my thesis as well. So here we're going to look at how you can actually use all these different um, prompts for finding out things about a field, a paper, a thesis that would take you hours to synthesize on your own. So here are all of the different prompts that I have found are particularly powerful in this chat uh, area. So we've got summarizing and analysis, potential research questions and gaps, and methodology and techniques. So we'll be going through each of those and I'll share those down in the chat below if you want to use them yourself. But importantly, to get this up and running, you have to first of all, give chat access to whatever's in this window. The way you do that is you go up to these dots up here and you go on notification app security and you make sure that page context is open. If that's not open, the chat bot cannot read what's actually in the window. I've tried it. Okay, so here we go over there. Perfect, we're all good. So let's go back to the um, the different papers. And so let's just start asking it questions. Let's ask about summarizing the stuff. So I'm gonna take one of these, identify the key findings and implications of this research paper. And what it will go away is actually just start looking through the HTML documents and looking for the key findings and implications. And I think that this is just a fantastic way to query research find out new things and save you hours and hours of work. So as you can see here, it's coming up with different types of uh, bullet pointed things that you need to know about this paper. And I think this is fantastic. And you can query and go as deep as you want with these prompts. But these are great starting prompts if you need to just find out what something is about immediately. One thing I love about this is it's not just uh, using HTML from a web page. It can also use PDF documents. Now these PDF documents are ones that I've got from my computer. I've got one of my papers and I've also got my thesis from 2010. Isn't that a long time ago? We, I can use exactly the same prompts on these things. So if I take another um, prompt from my summarizing and analysis uh, prompts, I want to know the strengths and weaknesses of this methodology. Let's see what it says about my uh, research paper. So analyze the strengths and weaknesses of this methodology. Boom, let's see what it says. Now, I've got to say, that is pretty good. So we've got the strengths, which is, you know, why I got the paper uh, published in the first place, which is great. But the weaknesses, I think, are a great place to start if you're looking at building on top of someone else's research. So the materials, uh, the process involves multiple steps and materials. So it's very complex to produce, I agree. And then performance of the result in planar electrode may depend on the quality and consistency of the materials used. I completely agree on that as well. So there we are. Now we've got two avenues that we could take this paper. And so using these prompts, we've just sort of like really shortcut any of the hard lifting we need to do. Now, obviously you need to go back in and have a look to see if that makes sense for this paper, but it really, really works. Now let's look at how you can actually use prompts 
to look at research questions and gaps. All right, let's start with my thesis. So I'm gonna ask it to give me any potential research questions based on this thesis. So let's say, list potential research questions related to this thesis to extend the work. And let's just see what it says. And because it's got access to all 256 pages, we're gonna start seeing it pump out some information. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have information about the thesis you're referring to. <laughs> Why don't you have access? You had access earlier when I was asking you. Let's go check in here. Ah, that's because I, I turned off page contacts that I told you to do in the beginning. So let's turn that back on. Let's get rid of this and let's ask it again. I'm an idiot. All right, it's kicking out some pretty interesting extended research questions. Efficiency, improve, well, that's what we're all trying to do. Long-term stability, that's great. My thesis didn't actually look at that. H how do different fabrication methods and materials affect the performance? Can nan nanoparticle-based organic devices be scaled up to commercial production? And how do environmental factors such as temperature and humidity affect the performance? All of these are really great extension questions that I know the research group I worked on are working towards right now. So fantastic use of Bing's integrated AI chat. I think that there's a really great way to use chat on papers and that's to extract recipes for what you need to do if you want to reproduce someone's work or extend on it. So let's head over to my paper. Let's clear this and let's just ask, um, let's ask it to create a recipe for the process used in this paper. And let's see what happens. It's pretty crazy that it even says where to purchase like the, the uh, silver nanowires from and the single ward carbon nanotubes. So it is producing a recipe for me to follow and uh, it's doing it perfectly. So I could use this to um, not only then sort of like start my research process, but also then to see what really doesn't work and try to find the gaps in the research based on the reproducibility of someone else's work. It really is doing a fantastic job. This is a really complicated paper with multiple steps and it's still going and kicking it out. So overall, I really feel like this is the way of the future for um, asking questions about papers. Unfortunately, it's in everyone's least favorite browser, arguably Microsoft Edge. But if this gets put into other browsers, I think we'll be in a whole new world of productivity for researchers when dealing with the literature, with theses, with massive documents that uh, it just makes it so much easier. Incredible. So there we have it. That's how you can use awesome epic prompts on research articles, on review articles, on thesis, on anything that you want to know about in the Edge browser with Bing Chat. It is really, really powerful and it beats copying and pasting all of that text into the chat GPT um, box because sometimes you run out of space and it doesn't process it. This is a way of analyzing massive documents and I really feel like it's a huge game changer. Let me know in the comments what you would add and if there's any other tricks that you you know about um, and there's more ways you can engage with me. The first way is to sign up to my newsletter and when you sign up you'll get five emails over about two weeks. Everything from the tools I use, the podcasts I've been on, how to write the perfect abstract and more. It's exclusive content only available for free so go check it out now and also go check out academiainsider.com. That's new my new project where I've got my ebooks, the ultimate academic writing toolkit as well as the PhD survival guide. I've got a brand new resource pack for applying for a PhD that has got all of the tools and tricks you need for making sure your PhD application is super strong. Um, and we've got the forum and the blog growing out there as well. And it's all there to make sure that your PhD works for you. All right then, I'll see you in the next video.